to edit your watch interface, press and hold the lower button and reach watch face. From here, you will have a lot of choice from whatever you want. And none of them can be edited the way you want. Uh, let's say that I want to select this one and I'm happy with it. Well, that's fine. But if I want to change the data, well, I will have to come back here on watch face and hit the pen. But oh, no, this one can only be modified with the color. I cannot change the data on that one. So let's pick another one. This one, for example, if I hit the pen, I can't modify the color, but I can modify the data. So if I hit data and I select that data, well, I can modify it. So what do we have here? We have a Garmin logo with the date, which is return to that one, the day of the week and the day of the month. Then we've got nothing. If you want to have something empty, we have the battery remaining. We have the number of steps since the beginning of the day, the intensity minute, the uh, body battery, the number of floor you have climbed since the beginning of the day, the calories you have burned, the day of the month. And be careful if it's if you wonder what this number is, because actually we're not on the 29. It's just because it's a dummy information for most of them that we have when we choose it. This means that if I go back from here and I save the change and I select that page, you see now we are on the 21st. Let's keep going, go and watch face. Let's do that again. Watch face, hit the pen, modify data, select that one. Then we've got your stress level. You got your hearth rate, number of respiration per minute, and the next occurrence about the sun. So this actually is the sunset that will happen at 1852. And then once the sun will be set, it will show up the sunrise. So you choose the information you want to have here, and then you can select or go back. It's as you wish. And then you can select your screen and you have your modify screen. Then if you want to have something more precise to your taste, if we go back on the watch face and you do not find anything that suits you in all of this, there is the create custom option. So you can choose first a still background or a live one. So this one have animation. I would recommend to go with still because, uh, well, yeah, like it says, it will reduce the battery life. But just for fun, let's go into that one and let's take one abstract and then you can choose the background you want to have. Let's pick this one. We scroll uh, to the right or to the left, depending on whatever. Then you can choose your analog or digital background. Be careful. Some of them, uh, if I pick, for example, a big one like this one on the next one on the data, I can only have two. And if I pick it here, like this one, now I can have four. Here we have the very same principle of uh, everything we've just saw, but there is something more. This one can have up to three data that replace those two on the side but we can do the same thing with the lower one but the cons with that is that you can't modify the data so it's a trio if you want to have your steps your intensity minute and your hearth rate you can't it have to comes with the number of stairs you have climb so if i pick it that way that's all right time marker it's that thing that goes all around that marks the second and finally you can choose an accent color let's say that i pick this i save and now i have my background animated with the data i have uh, what is fun with that is actually you see i have made 1000 steps since the beginning of the day and we have a progression progression marker that goes all around to follow my progress and you see here this is the second marker so yep yeah, this is how you edit your watch face i hope this was helpful and you see when it's done it keeps going and now it add up 
instead of subtract. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have any question, please ask in the comment below.